afternoon everybody this is Karen March from Hilton Head Island South Carolina and I'm gonna film this sign real fast here's a group of young cranes uh, they learned the migration route to Florida by an ultralight aircraft and this is the show I was mentioning in another video so in 1993 the first successful reintroduction of the whooping crane population was established in Florida uh, the Kissimmee Prairie and an attempt to establish a second non-migratory population in Louisiana is currently underway. So that population is boosted each year by an introduction of young captive reared birds. And this is why it's important, I'm at Sylvan Heights Bird Park, uh, to breed rare birds so you can introduce them to the wild. So in 1999, several nonprofit scientific and government organizations formed the Whooping Crane Eastern Partnership called WCEP. And they've been working to reestablish an eastern migratory flock of whooping cranes. And each spring, the crane chicks, they're reared in captivity, conditioned to fall on ultralight aircraft. And in the fall, the young birds will embark on their first migration from Wisconsin to Florida. And they're led either by pilots in the ultralights or older cranes that do know the route. And then they return to Wisconsin the following year without human uh, assistance. And the most important thing is... Um, the staff and the volunteers have to wear crane costumes while working with the crane chicks. That way they avoid any human imprinting. And hi beautiful bird! So this is the whooping crane. Hello! Sorry we had so much information to tell you, but I think it's important because this is one of the rarest birds in the world. And they were down to only 16 and it's been miraculous uh, to get to where we are today. Alright, we're signing off live at Sylvan Heights Bird Park. It's Karen Martz. Have a great day.